Okay, so here's the second part of how to write a hit song. You need to have the second part of your song uh, either not exist, that'd be nice, or uh, you need to change the scenery in an equally presentable and understandable way, but also just change it without losing your cool. You know what I mean? Do a chord change or a key change and just don't trip about it, maybe. Don't lose your melody, don't lose your beat. Don't like be like, ooh, this is emotional. <laughs> Bitch, that shit's not emotional. Fucking heroin withdrawals are emotional. Fucking breakups are emotional. Not fucking key changes, Jesus. All you gotta do is like, duh, 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 duh. the beat's going one, two, three, four, uh, there's music playing. Somebody's going one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the fastest person. So you gotta be that person. If everybody's doing fives and sevens, it'll always line up like a circular clock. Like the Beatles, bro, like Kanye West, bro. I swear to Christ, if everybody fucking listens to me, um, Michigan will be doing very well musically. But right now, we don't have our haikus down. The Detroit guys are going like, so that they're, they almost got it, but they don't realize that they don't got it. So, um, the trick is five, okay? So the Beatles, they had five. The four members, and then the producer. That's five, okay? Humans have head, arms, legs. We need to create the head and the arms and the legs of the song. It's like a circle, a pentagon circle. Round out the edges of the pentagon and you got a circle. And the thing that rounds out the edges of the pentagon is the ratio of the syllabic difference between counting to seven and counting to five. So if you're keeping a solid tempo, a genuinely BPM consistent tempo, See, on the second to last one, I lost it and I slowed down. That's because I was not counting. I was moving my hand and trying to keep track, but I was not counting. So what a lot of musicians do is they'll count. Wow, great. But they won't move their body. So their brain is creating music and they're hearing music, but they're not feeling music. So therefore they're not making music. So the body needs to go like, like that, you know what I'm saying? And then, and then, and then your voice is like, I could read it off of Siri, you buy suck it, fuck it, man. I don't got nothing, but you don't. You just can pretend to be Kanye West or whatever, man. It's fucking free. You don't got to pay shit. You don't even got to take a... And then you'd say Zan because you're stupid and I'm smart. So, um, unless you didn't want to say Zan, in which case you're also smart like me. So the goal is um, not to be smart like me, but it's just to count to five and then seven while moving your body so that you create a haiku. And I didn't mean to sound cocky, I really didn't. So I'm trying to do a lesson here. I don't need my ego to get in the way of that. So I am sorry. That's five, see? You wanna end it with five because it keeps them thinking, but it also clears your name, okay? We wanna have that wholeness so that when your song ends, it ends on an offbeat so that the next song that plays will begin on the downbeat, get it? It's rude to end your song on an even number. In fact, your song will not get radio play if you end on an even number, and I guarantee that. Um, I don't know why I guarantee that. It's just because I'm right. And I just spent like 10 years figuring this shit out. So the next lesson is about to get even better probably.